Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. I'm Roland Mix Gaming and today's video is going to be about Henry V. So in the last MG that just happened I think yesterday I ended up getting first place in the Mightiest Governor and getting the 180 heads for Henry V. I have not expertise him yet because I'm waiting to see which is the best rally for KVK because we're going to be registering for our next KVK up with the next pop, which should be the next day or so. So I've gotten him to 5511 so far with this MG. I have 500 heads basically to expertise him if I want to, but I'm going to try and get some more heads from the next MG and maybe even the one after that, depending on when KVK, the first pass, pass four opens. That's going to depend on when, who I'm maxing and what's the best rally. So right now, I really don't have a good clear answer on what the best rally is because there has not been enough KVK tests. But in a few days, there should be some clear results on what the best rally is for KVK. So right now, there's just been Ark of Osiris tests. I will show you guys some of those reports at the end of this video. But this is going to be a video basically on Henry V, all his best talents, what his skills are, what the best skill order is for him if you don't want to expertise him right away some of the best gear, and then also just kind of my thoughts on what his best open field and rally pairs will probably be. So for Henry V, his first skill is a 2300 damage factor to the current target. He's going to cause your troops to take 30% less skill damage for, I think it's 5 seconds, and then increases archer attack by 20%, archer defense by 20%, and then increases your march speed by 20% when you're outside of Alliance territory. His third skill is 30% counterattack at all times, and then the target that you are hitting takes 30% increased skill damage for 3 seconds, and it happens every 5 seconds. His last skill is he deals 10% all damage, which is really, really good that you don't have to be in a rally. It's just 10% all damage. It's a really good skill. And then when he's attacked, there's a 10% chance to deal 800 damage factor back to the current target. Same as Nebu, but I think Nebu may have to be in a rally. This one's just a direct damage factor back to the target hitting you, which is kind of a good anti-swarm. And his expertise is when a troop's rage reaches 70%, they deal 30% more normal attack damage. Otherwise, they take 20% less normal attack damage, which is kind of an anti-swarm because you're going to be either dealing more damage or taking less damage, depending on when you're getting swarmed or if you're not getting swarmed, which is really, really good for a rally pair. So for Henry, we're going to go ahead and say that doing a 5-5, five, five, probably 5-1 five, is probably your best bet because... I think the counterattack and skill damage taken increased by by the target and then all the stats from the second skill is really good. His last skill is really good because he gets 10% all damage. You just can't really miss out on that, which is a really big deal, which is kind of a problem with him. So really you're going to have to expertise, expertise Henry if you really want to use him. But I think a 5-5-5-1 five, 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 is a good start. But you're really going to want to get that 10% all damage because even when you do Nebu without his all damage skill, which is like I think 15% all damage, if you don't have that all damage, you're really not getting the full benefit of the commander. So the all damage is a really big deal, but then so is 30% counterattack and so is the skill damage. But you're also getting only for rallies the counterattack. And then I think that the skill damage increased by is probably for rallies too. So you could probably do him 5515. But the third skill is really good if you're going to be doing rallies, but you need to expertise him pretty much to get all of these skills, kind of like Nebu. So 5515 or 5551 is probably pretty good, but you just kind of have to decide what you're wanting to do with him because the 10% all damage is really good. And it's probably the better thing to get if you can't be using him as a rally pair. So the third skill, like I said, is mostly for rally, but the all damage is really, really good that you really need to pick up. But expertise is probably best because it's when you would get the best benefit out of him. Boudicca, you can say 5551, but he's a little bit different. He's a lot like Nebu, where you kind of have to expertise him to get his full benefit. So for talents, I've already made him level 60 and done his talent tree. Basically, you're going to want to do the full archer tree and then try to get either full rejuvenate or full emergency protection, depending on what you think you want to do. I think that doing the full emergency protection is probably better. I didn't do that. I'll probably reset it. I was kind of rushing when I did it the first time, but I would probably do the full emergency protection and then just do two out of three on rejuvenate. Because this is a support tree, it's archers, most likely somebody's going to try to swarm you. So you're going to be generating probably plenty of rage, especially if you have a horn, you should be doing plenty of rage and all that kind of stuff. Because the all damage from the archer tree is just too good to not miss. And I think rejuvenate, you only need two out of three. So that would be the only talent tree I would really use for Henry. All these other skills, like in the... 
conquering tree are just not that good and I wouldn't really worry about it. And any of these other little things from the archer tree, you can probably skip out on rejuvenate if you kind of wanted to do that, but I really wouldn't probably skip out on it. And I would just stick to this basic tree. That's gonna work for rally or for field and is really good for Henry. So then we're also gonna kind of talk about what I think his best pairs for open field are gonna be. So I think the best pair for open field for Henry is most likely gonna be Nebuchadnezzar, simply because you can put Henry first, Nebuchadnezzar secondary, and you're gonna get a tanky archer pair that has basically can be swarmed and not take a lot of damage because they're both gonna have counterattack, which is gonna hurt the opponent swarming you. You're gonna get the AoE from Nebu, and if somebody's hitting you, you're getting basically that damage factor back to them, which is pretty good. And I think would probably be this best open field pair. After that, you could probably think that Boudicca secondary or primary would be really good with Henry. So that would probably be my second option with that. Problem is, there's no AoE, which I don't like, which is why I would recommend Boudicca and YSG and Henry and Nebu as my top two open field pairs for archers right now. Because I think those two pairs either are going to be really tanky and provide you with AoE. And it's really, really good open field pair that's two different open field pairs that would really help you a lot in open field. And if they're going to get targeted, they're going to be tanky enough to take the damage. Unlike a Nebu YSG, Boudicca has more stats than Nebu does. And then Henry is going to protect your Nebu because he takes less damage. And is also going to be basically a lot tankier because of the support tree. Other than that, I think that Henry's a good open field and rally pair and some of the best rally pairs with Henry is going to be Gilgamesh and Henry, Nebu and Henry, Boudicca and Henry. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the reports that I have so far for Henry V, but I think that's basically the whole commander guide on Henry right now. We showed you kind of the best skill order. I think 5515 is probably the best. Could do 5551, but I think the third skill is kind of for rallies mostly. And then that showed you the talents. And then when you would eventually expertise him, which is probably best for him because he's kind of like Nebuchadnezzar. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys those reports, but that's basically the commander guide on Henry V. So we have some battle reports here from KVK. This is a rally on a fort. I do not know the troop buffs. I do not know anything about this, but I would assume this you know, YSS is just not very good. Could be that the player on the left is max tech and the player on the right is not. So this is take this with a grain of salt, take all these reports with a grain of salt because a lot of these stats I don't have. A lot of these reports are a little bit not too good because for some reason this fort's not full and it should be three mil. The rally doesn't have max stats at three mil either, so I don't know exactly what the situation is here. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll on to the next one, but this is a good report for Boudicca and Henry, which is really good to see. Then we have Boudicca and Henry. Henry first, this is Ark of Osiris against Jad and YSS. This went fairly well for Boudicca and Henry, which is really nice to see. Problem is, for me, I'm not going to be able to max them both, which is why I'm wanting to see if Henry and Nebu is going to be a thing. But I'm waiting to see some more reports, so we're going to scroll to the next one. We've got Gilgamesh and Henry against Flavius and Scipio. Flavius and Scipio lost, but, well, actually, Gilgamesh and Henry lost, but this could be a little bit of an issue with maybe just the way that it's being ran, because it's in Arthur Osiris and things like that. And it could be that they just got silenced in a way that Henry and Gilgamesh just couldn't handle, so we'll just have to see. Next report here we have from Chiskel's live stream. We have Boudicca and Henry versus Jad and YSS. Jad and YSS lost, but not by a lot. So I think Jad probably is probably going to be the best counter towards archers. But I don't know if it's going to be a super big counter because Flavius and Zeno is harder to swarm than Jad Wika is. So for the next report, we have Zeno and Flavius losing against Henry and Boudicca, which is a good rally, like I was saying. We haven't really tested any of the pairs. Chiskel's supposed to be streaming again, I think, today or tomorrow on more, some more Henry pairs for rally, but problem is with Henry right now, I don't have enough sculptures to just max one or the other. I don't want to max Boudicca or max Henry, and then it ends up being Boudicca and you know, it was Nebuchadnezzar and be the best rally. Like, I want to try my best to get the best rally so that I'm doing the best for my kingdom. So that's kind of why I'm going through different ports from different people because I don't have the sculptures to max them right away. And it's kind of one of the things where I have the gems right now to spin the wheels, so I really don't want to be just maxing a commander. I'm not a super whale. So just know that that's why I'm kind of doing this and why I have these reports from different people. So back in game here, that is the Henry V commander guide that I did for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys have a nice day and hope you learned something here today. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.